baseball great and a sport fishing enthusiast, Ted Williams, has the distinct honor of being a member of not just the Baseball Hall of Fame, but also the IGFA Hall of Fame. And in 1962, two years after he played his last game with the Boston Red Sox, Ted Williams' name started to appear on a number of items in the Sears Sporting Department. Sears slapped Ted's name on everything from boats to fishing and hunting gear to, of course, baseball equipment. In fact, between 1962 and 1978, every product in the Sears Sports Department had Ted Williams' name on it. Tis a season for perusing catalogs, and there is nothing I like to do more around the holidays than check out some outdoor catalogs to see what goodies Santa will hopefully put underneath the tree. Well, recently I picked up this, a 1975 edition of the Sears Boating and Fishing Catalog, and as you can see by the cover, Sears is definitely home for the Ted Williams brand. Stick around, we're going to do a little flip through of this catalog. You are not going to want to miss what's inside. As it's becoming a little bit of a tradition here on the channel, around this time we do a retro tackle box giveaway. And last week we did an episode detailing what is inside this really nice old school Umco tackle box that one lucky bass and butt is going to win today. And we're going to do that drawing at the end of this video. I hitched the boat to the back of my truck. Called my friend, said, let's go try our luck. Said, I'm sorry, buddy. I can't go. I'm watching the old retro bass and fishing show. All right, here is the 1975 Sears boating and fishing catalog. And as you see by the cover, uh, it says Sears Sports Center, home of the Ted Williams brand. And there, of course, is Mr. Ted Williams himself hanging out on one of his signature boats, doing a little retro bass in Ted Williams style. I did get this in the mail uh, just a few weeks ago and took a quick look through it. And let me tell you, good buddies, if I could still order some of this stuff, if it was still available, uh, let's just say I'd be maxing out the old retro credit cards real quick. So let's go ahead and crack this catalog open and see what kind of old school gold lies within. Well, right out of the gates, there is a pretty glorious two-page spread. Within this catalog, you will find everything you need for fishing and boating, including great Ted Williams brand items. Equipment bearing Ted's name has been thoroughly tested and approved by him or by a member of the sports advisory staff and is the best quality we offer. The Ted Williams brand means Sears finest in both performance and value. Well, right out of the gates there are three really glorious boats here. First is this nice Game Fisher Tri Hall 14. <laughs> Check it out. That's a, a honey of a vessel for $689. Over here we see the uh, 12 foot Game Fisher. And yeah, this is a, almost like a souped up looking rowboat. Uh, but definitely a honey of a vessel, and for 370 you cannot beat it, or uh, 295 with the uh, standard model. But without a doubt, my favorite boat on this page has to be this one, uh, the Ted Williams 12-foot John Fisher. I just love that old-school green color. Woohoo, man! Uh, you could even put a, a little canopy on it if you want. But, man, uh, that is just a glorious vessel. And, man, if I walked into a Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's today and saw that, yeah, there's no way I'd be leaving without it. Especially for uh, 295 bucks. <laughs> I think I spent more on a trolling motor this week than that. All right, on to the next page. And here we've got some more uh, John boats. Looks more of the metal variety. And check this out. A uh, couple of inflatable runabouts. <laughs> Look at that. Is that the wildest thing? I don't think I've ever seen a Cuddy Cabin style runabout before, but uh, that is pretty sweet. Five man runabout for $4.99 and the four man for $3.99. Uh, I still think I'm going with that green boat on the previous page, though. Ooh, we got some more nice inflatable boats here. A single wall boats ranging from uh, the high end at what is this? $3.29. For the old eight man, that's a lot of men to put in an inflatable boat. <laughs> Down to this guy, the two man for $74.95. Um, 
I don't know how you'd fit two men in there. That's uh, Maybe they grew men smaller back in the day. Here we've got a nice uh, two-man inflatable kayak. Uh, I don't know if that's one I'd want to be on if I was going down the old Kahula Hawassi door to Aintree. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to be adventurous, I guess you could take that down a river. And here we've got some uh, other super strong inflatables. And yeah, this is definitely meant for a little more river fishing as well. Um, three models here ranging from buck 15 up to 199 bucks. And this one, what is this? Super strong double walled inflatable canoe. Man. <laughs> canoe trip. Speaking of canoes, another nice spread here of canoes. On this one, we've got lightweight, big capacity canoes. This one is a high tensile strength, aircraft grade aluminum. Even though that looks like it's not aluminum, it must be. Uh, fiberglass canoes, a little OG kayak. Yeah, some nice metal canoes. <laughs> I like the metal canoe, by the way, that's got the uh, sawed off back for a trolling motor, or I guess a gas motor. Uh, very nice. And first motor of the uh, catalog, the 1.2 horsepower gasoline motor for a buck 38. All right, so we're getting into some more gear here in the black and white pages of the catalog. And I feel like they used to do that. They used to have like the, the really good stuff in the color section. And then the gear was kind of in this section. So we'll blaze through this gear pretty quickly unless something magical catches our eye. I've uh, got a bunch of trailers for your Ted Williams boat. I guess they sell them separate. Uh, winches, tires. <laughs> yeah, selling tires, that's interesting. Ah, uh, here we go. Some nice looking uh, gasoline engines. Uh, what, 15 horsepower, 7.5 horsepower, 3 horsepower. So the most expensive one on the page was this for 548, and I'm pretty sure my 65 pound thrust. Uh, motor guide costs more than, than that one. So on this page, we've got some OG troll motors. And honestly, if anybody's got a lead on an old school troll motor, I totally would pick one up. Um, if not for the current retro wagon, I definitely would like to get a smaller bass and buggy style vessel at some point and slap one of these bad boys on. Glorious. All right, so getting back into the color section, and if anybody needs any last-minute Christmas ideas for a retro, I definitely take a green vinyl captain's chair. <laughs> Look at that. Oof. I also like the uh, old-school folding chairs. I think my grandparents used to have a pair of these on their vessel, uh, sort of the director's chair, and then there's the standard uh, aluminum captain's chair, but both of those are oh, just amazing, amazing pieces of work. And we've got some more standard boat seats here. That'd be the nice green seat to go with that green vessel that you picked up. Oh, I'm always a uh, game for old school apparel and some nice functional life jackets. Uh, <laughs> actually, not too outlandish, all said and done. And, yep, some old Mac Beans Transatlantic Storm Wear. Oof, that looks uh, comfy. <laughs> ah, the old floatable. I remember that one. Uh, we used to uh, have these on my grandparents' boat as well, and I distinctly remember this one, which has all the different knots that you might ever need out on a vessel. Nice. Some old Sperry-style deck shoes. Well, see what I mean about Ted Williams' brand being on everything? Uh, everything that's not even fishing has the Ted Williams brand on it, even though I don't think Ted was much of a sailor. Uh, looks sort of like a sunfish style sailboat. Very nice. All right, looks like we're back into the black and white section with some more gear here. Uh, we'll see if there's anything of note. Has some nice anchors. Oh, if you want to make a floating dock or perhaps a party barge. <laughs> wow. Ah, nice OG mushroom anchor. A little retro style there. Some more gear and gear. <laughs> All right, back into another color section. Ah, so you're not going to see any wakeboards in the 1975 uh, Sears catalog, but you will see a slalom ski or two. 
Uh, I like the old school banana peel. That was always a uh, oldie but a goodie. Uh, and also some combination pairs if you, if you needed two skis like I used to back in the day. Ooh, here we go. Some nice floats. Uh, I like this one. It's like the uh, old school lawn chair converted into a pool float. Oh, but my favorite on this page definitely has to be this one, the old Alex Kintner special for $17.99. Yeah, go ahead and watch the first Jaws movie and take a look at the raft that floats up on the beach after uh, that old big fish gets his first meal. <laughs> That's it. And some more floatables here. That one's, uh, I don't know what the heck that is. It's like an inflatable hot tub. So here are the electronics, and it is amazing. Even something like this, it actually all is Ted Williams' brand as well. In my initial research for this episode, I did read that everything in this catalog would be labeled Ted Williams, but I had no idea that it even went down to electronics, which, uh, man, I would love to own a Ted Williams whole shooter flasher. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, an analyzer uh, reads oxygen content, temperature, and light intensity. Ooh, that might be a fun one to pick up if you ever saw that. And here's another one to monitor oxygen content and depths of 50 feet of water. Nice. Ooh, okay. Great Lakes and saltwater spinning reels and rods. Uh, so we got the model 920. Uh, that's a good looking almost Mitchell style reel for 2850. I uh, got some other models here, uh, 35 bucks. Wow, that's actually pretty pricey when you think of the cost of the boats, right? So, yeah, the rods and reels, these were definitely high-quality rods and reels back in the day. Got nice Sears uh, Level Wine Model 780, uh, and also the 540 and the 560, probably for some offshore trolling as well. And interestingly, the, the Level Wines cost less than the spinning reels. All right, so we've got some more apparel here. Uh, Ted Williams rubberized and waders and hip boots. Very nice. I've uh, got a nice fish boil kettle as well. And uh, look at that. <laughs> rubberized nylon storm suit. And uh, if that doesn't keep you warm, that, uh, that mustache will. All right, we're getting into the Ted Williams gear in the color section. And honestly, I don't have a ton of Sears Ted Williams stuff. I just, I don't see it very, very often at all. Definitely looks sort of Umco-esque, and you got to wonder if that's maybe who made these for them. Uh, but every size tackle box from the small one for $8.49 all the way up to this uh, big dog for $27.90. And you know which one I'd be going for <laughs> all day. Uh, some also some really nice rod kits. Man, uh, that is a pretty glorious looking travel rod tube. All right, what is this? Still fishing equipment. Oh, it's sort of like the old crappie rods you can get at Bass Pro Shops. Yep, yep. Very nice. Uh, got those for five sixty nine, dollars uh, on up to ten forty nine, dollars And also some fishing chairs and a little fishing tackle box slash seat. So we've got some nice outfits here. Yeah, I love the kits though, totally. A uh, complete family fishing outfit for three. Wait a minute. Uh, you talk about a fishing kit, look at that. It's got three rod and reel combos and all the gear for the whole family. Or if you've got a family of five, <laughs> check it out. Uh, there are one, two, three, four rods. Oh, plus the still rod. So I guess whatever family member draws a short straw gets to fish with the old cane pole. <laughs> all right, though. But if you're a family of five for $29.99, you could uh, get on the lake. That's pretty cool. All right, I think we're getting into some higher-end gear. Yeah, we got some nice spin cast reels. Wow, that's got to be the most expensive reel I've seen in this catalog to date. Uh, $44.50 for the Model 260 Professional Rod. And, you know, there's one thing about professional anglers is they very often fish with a, a spin cast reel. <laughs> and here is a Model 720 in color. And a, what it says, a 260. Uh, that's a, a good looking reel. I don't know if that's a sort of a maroon or a chrome color. And what does old Ted say about the Model 260? Uh, he says, my Model 260 is the finest spin cast reel I've ever used. Uh, it is ideal for heavy freshwater or light saltwater fishing. And the high speed gear ratio and twist free star drag 
keep fish under tight line control. Uh, that means fewer fish will get away and I will take home heavier stringers. Uh, really nice photo here. Look at that layout. And some more nice spin cast reels from Mr. Ted Williams. All right, now we are into the rods and reels for spinning. And uh, another little blurb about what Ted says. Let's see what Ted says about the spinning reels. Uh, this reel is the reel I insist upon using when I fish for tough fighting bonefish in the Florida Keys. It's the finest, smoothest, and strongest freshwater spinning reel I've ever used. Well, I hope you didn't use a freshwater spinning reel in the salt water of the Florida Keys, but hey, who am I to question Ted Williams? Ah, uh, look at these rods. Uh, some pretty glorious looking spinning rods. And ah, uh, that's a cool, uh, looks like a big game rod of some sort with the, uh, the old rubber butt. These totally look like Mitchells to me, by the way. All right, I do know that Ted Williams is something of a fly fisher, and he's got a nice section here of some fly fishing rods and reels. And another little Ted Says section. Uh, parallel fiber construction makes my professional model fly casting rod so strong and responsive that I can get a feel for fighting fish from tip to grip. And, ooh, if I could pick out one reel in this catalog, though, it probably, well, definitely would be this. The Ted Williams 540 bait casting reel. It is a My Model 450 free spool bait casting reel with positive star drag control and ball bearing component. Allows me to reel line in effortlessly and in style. Ooh. And you can get a combo here. You can save four bucks. Uh, rod and reel for $60.75 or another model uh, for $26.49. All right, last page of the catalog, but honestly, I think this has to be my favorite spread in the whole deal. Uh, this is a Ted Williams boat. It is our best boat for bass fishing, 14-foot fiberglass tri-haul game fisher bass boat. Oh, look at this thing. It's got full pedestal seats, and you'll be high above the water, so you can fish with a full view. Makes casting easier, and motor controls and fishing aids can be rigged within arm's reach. And, you know, I've been doing a little bit of research on the Bass Professor Doug Hannon for an upcoming episode, and this setup looks a whole lot like something Doug Hannon would use. Notice that if you are fishing solo, you can literally be sitting in the front of the boat, and within that, you've got access to the throttle, so you can move around, a light, a fish finder, You've got a mushroom anchor, sort of like we have on the old retro wagon, and a foot-controlled trolling motor. So literally, you can ride around a small lake all day and never leave that seat. So this game feature is available for $789. And again, Bass and Buds, if anybody's looking for a last-minute gift idea for old retro, uh, or if you have a hot lead on a boat like this, oh my goodness. Uh, I just love everything about that. And uh, that is quite a vessel from the old Sears and Roebuck and the company catalog. All right, well, now it is time to give away that old school Umco tackle box loaded with, well, some old school gold. I have got the video loaded in a random comment selector, and we'll go ahead and do this thing live on camera. <laughs> I don't know why I always get nervous about this time, even though, like, it's not a competition I'm going to win. It's always very nerve-wracking. All right, comments are loaded. We have 308 comments on that video. Ooh, I should do giveaways more often. And we're going to go ahead and start this thing right now. And the winner is... Who won? All right, looks like Joel Jared is the winner. All right, what did Jared say? Well, uh, he said, I'm sorry, buddy, I can't go. I'm watching the Retro Bass and Fishing Show. <laughs> Little homage to Orlando Wilson there. Awesome, man, put me on that giveaway. Well, uh, Joel Jared, congratulations, good buddy. Uh, you are the winner of that tackle box. Go ahead and send me a private message on either Instagram or Facebook and we will get that box out to you ASAP. 
Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of the 1975 Sears Boating and Fishing Catalog. If you're looking for more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you right back here next week, same time, same place. And until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.